Gus. Gus. Say hi, everybody. Say hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. Forgive me, I just got up, worked last night. And me and Gus are going for a ride to my sister-in-law's because she bought me donuts again. And I'm not gonna turn them up, turn them away. And this is Gus's first time in his little seatbelt. So we're gonna go ride over and get us some yummy donuts. Well, get me some yummy donuts because He's not getting any donuts. Since I was a young child, it was there. He is. This is a big learning experience. And his seatbelt. Um, and it was just such a blessing to be able to get also um, experience. Of all, all right, guys. So I know that I was supposed to be waiting until hubby. So he's ready with his little toy. He's looking like, mommy, why can't I get on your lap and you can drive with me like you always do? Not today, my dear. You need to get used to riding in your seatbelt because you're not always going to be on my lap while I'm driving. Yes, you. Okay, so. Yeah. I've been racking out my fro for a couple days and I know that I was doing this little thing where we're going to see how long it takes my husband to decide to get my hair done but I'm getting tired of doing my hair right now I don't put heat on my hair so just about every style I have to wash it first and then it has to dry and basically it takes me about three days to get any style and then the style only lasts for like a day with my hair so I've decided that we'll do this little see how long hubby waits thing when it gets a little warmer out because I need to get my hair braided so that I don't have to mess with my hair in the morning. It's so nice being able to just get up and go and not have to try to make sure your fro doesn't look too dry and then try not to wear it in the fro all the time because all the little single strand knots breaking your hair off and then I, I don't want to go and get it straightened yet but after this time when I take the braids out the next time I'm gonna go and get it blow dry uh, so that I can do a length, a length check I have not had my hair straightened in two years and then when I whenever I do get it straightened I only get it straightened uh, maybe once or twice a year so I don't just because I don't like to put all that heat on my hair and I know that they put a lot of heat but I always give them a heat protectant and my hair always reverts, so I know that there's no heat damage. So, anyway, it was snowing when I got off work this morning, and there was snow covering the ground, and then I get up, and now there's no snow. And I'm not complaining, because I'm glad there's no snow. Because me and snow, mm -mm. as long as I can look out the window and see it, we're okay. But when I have to be out in it, me and snow are not best friends anyway but there's no snow on the ground now so it's so funny Gus is just looking at me <laughs> like I'm talking to him let's see if you guys can see Gus say hi people <laughs> he's just looking so cute you think I'm talking to you buddy what do you think I'm telling you? Look at you. You're being a good boy. You see him? Doesn't he look cute in his little coat? You look cute in your little coat. You do. And uh, my little baby. Alright. Well, anyway. So I'm going to go say hello to my sister-in-law. I know I'm supposed to be posting the video of my daughter when she, get, when she got him. Um, it's still being uploaded and edited. So I will for sure be posting that video very soon. Hopefully I can get it posted in the next couple of days. I've just been busy with my son playing basketball and going to games and then the kids are in Awanas 
and they got Grand Prix coming up and this year her car for Grand Prix is gonna be R2D2. Last year she won best design for, um, she had a Tinkerbell Grand Prix car last year. This year she wants R2D2 so. But anyway, it's just been real busy with um, activities and church and my daughter's in gymnastics too and, and her last little skill that she's got a master so she can go on to the next level she's only got one more skill she's this, she's repeated this level twice and so she really wants to to get past this level to go on to the next level uh, which is not abnormal she at the end of the last time she had one she had three skills that she had missed this time at the end she's only got one so she's getting there she's that close so I took her to the uh, gym to let her practice her back hip circles um, because that's the only thing that she can't do so I'm not I don't know I'm sure it helped but um, she still was having a hard time getting in and she got tired her little arms and stuff so we left but I think I'm gonna start taking her to the gym if I can get there at least once or twice a week if she has to repeat again just so that she can practice the new skills that she's learning she's gonna need that time anyway as she starts to learn more advanced and harder uh, harder uh, whatever harder things that they learn in gymnastics I don't know what you want to call it um, but anyway so I'm gonna start taking her to the gym once a week so that she can uh, practice because she only time she does anything is when she goes to gymnastics guys no no biting on that babies <sighs> anyway so this is just a little short little I'm still here video because I know I haven't posted anything since we got the puppy and it's only been a few days um, but it just seems like forever and I feel like it's taking me so long to get the next video out so Keep watching it's coming in the next couple of days I promise and um, and then you guys will get to check out my braids when I get them in and let me know what you think I love them so and I just love not having to do anything to my hair so I'm looking forward to that I'm actually like real excited about that and I've been wearing these braids forever and I, I still get excited when I get them so because they look so good on me anyway <laughs> well Give me a thumbs up, like me, subscribe, tell your friends, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!